<laughs> yeah. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, it's finally here. It's light skin season. Yeah. All right, guys. So all jokes aside, let's make a trap soul beat for Drake, Chris Brown, Bryson Taylor, party next door. Let's go. All right guys, so let's go over this beat that I made in anticipation for Drake's new album, Certified Lover Boy. So what I did was, once I finished the beat, I recorded it and then reversed it right here and this is what it sounds like, this is the intro. Okay, maybe you noticed, maybe you didn't, but that's just the entire beat right here. I recorded it using this program right here, Edison, and this is how I did it. So you hit record first right there, and then you pick whichever part of the beat that you want to do, and you hit play right here. So you see, it records it, and even once I stop that, it keeps recording it right here, and then you stop, and then you grab it, you paste it wherever you want it to go, normalize to make it louder, and now do this, boom. And that's exactly what I did for this part right here, which is the beginning of the song, but I, I just made two of them, so it could sound a little bit more full, a little bit more, uh, more wide. And what I did was I went into the mixer right here, and I had this going, and also this, and I also automated the volume which literally just looks like this. So the next part of the song that you probably noticed already is how it sounds very R&B and very smooth and very sensual. And the reason it sounds like that is because of the chords that I chose for this beat. So what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna figure out the chords that you want. Well, you can just, you feel free to take these ones. There's just some R&B chords that are pretty, pretty simple. And then you find yourself a nice smooth pad like this one. As you can see, DX7 has some pretty good ones, but you can find them pretty much anywhere for free. Go to Edison, record the sound that you want, okay? And then go right here, edit properties, and then just lower this until you find one that you're happy with, and then just go with that one. Hey, listen here, dummy. You can't have a trap soul beat without having the lo-fi vox. I recently bought the Arturia effects pack and it came with this flanger right here. It's called the BL20. So I added that first and then I went here, found the elements that I wanted to keep, the ones that I wanted to cut. And then I went over here on Ozone 9. So that's that. It's not very hard to find these either. So this one is from the Slate Digital Vocal Sample Pack, which is for free. So just look it up on their website. It's free, easy to find. Actually, I'll include the link over in the description for you to find. The next element is probably one of my favorite parts of the beat. It's this right here. All right, and for the bass, so just a little Fruity Blood Overdrive right there. And uh, what I did over in the side chain is I just compressed it when the kick comes in. That's just what I thought would sound best. So that right there, what you heard just now is a little intro right here. And then it went into the chorus. And then afterwards it goes into the verse, which sounds like this. So what I did is I just removed some elements. For example, I removed this right here, which is the pads. And I removed this. And I just simplified it into this one. Right? And then it plays the chorus again, and then it goes into the verse again. And then it just has this little outro right here.
guys, I think that's it. I think that we just went over my CLB certified lover boy, trap soul, Drake, breezy, Bryson Taylor type beat, y'all. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and uh, share with your friends. Please come back again, guys. Love you. I hope you enjoyed the beat, light skin season.